everybody, it's Christmas time, and that's why we have a special Christmas episode of the show. We put on a performance of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with Tom Merritt and Corey Coleman. Santa comes back. Also, Snowers the Elf and a holiday gift guide you'll never forget. It's a bad thing that music is canceled on Christmas because we won't have a musical performance by anybody. Or will we? It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. What? Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 107, recorded on December 20th, 2011. A very Korean Christmas. This episode of NSFW show is brought to you by Ford, featuring available Sync with My Ford Touch. Sync with My Ford Touch gets you to your destination with integrated turn by turn directions and directional arrows displayed on screen. Check it out in the new 2012 Ford Focus at Ford.com slash technology. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies to your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 30% off your new account for three months, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code NSFW12. Okay, right, you ready to rock this thing? Let's go. We got a present. Do you know we got a present before we even started this? Uh, no, Brian. Let's open it right now. Well, this is addressed to NSFW show from the chat realm, and it looks like this. Oh, hi there, internet. My name is Lonely.Geek. I'm a member of the chat realm for the podcast NSFW Show on Twit. And we have a story we'd like to share. It was the night before NSFW when all through the chat, not a creature was stirring, not even a meow cat. The chat room was asked to email if they dare some new videos that the podcast could air. Penny and Josie were nestled snug in their beds with songs of TIB stuck in their heads. And Jury in his t-shirt and Brian his cap recorded a bit for that winter draft crap. Then from my iPhone there arose such a clatter. The Justin TV app said there was some chatter. Away to my desk I jumped in a pinch, clicked open the browser to check for the bench. And after I sat through the goddamn pre-roll, I saw they were voting on a new straw poll. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a Skype window and a voice in my ear. Hosting his shows from the TNT set, I knew in a moment it must be merit. More rapid than Squarespace, the in-jokes they came, and he tweeted and ranted and called them by name. Now Hitler, now Rapip, now Fudge and Spiro, on Fatbert, on Horseboy, John Smokey and Frodo. To the Twit Truck Control Desk, to the Twit Brickfield Wall. Now censor them, censor them, censor them all. They put on a show from which legends are made. Stuff like the catchphrase, the penalty is AIDS. Then on was the belt bet, the curses they flew. With a show full of guests and Merle Dixon too. There's Belmont and Andrew and OMG Chad. And then there's Odakta and songs from George Harab. The chat room, they checked off their bingo with glee. First racist, then too gay, then parsimony. They'd help a new band with the Kickstarter hope, and then judge the viewers with the help of Troll Pope. His brother Josh joined and told the Sea Jew, you ain't no brushwood. That certainly was true. It's time for laser discs. The picture, how pure, like John Tilton was at the start of his tour. That's followed by songs by our friends Get Set Go. Did we mention that Mike TV is a fan of the show? The guests didn't stop with Cargill and Casey. The comments from Kiki sometimes were racy. She has a great mind and had started a blog. But then Scott Johnson shouted out, F a dog! Then Rounceville arrived, the provider in hand, and I cheered at the music of Jonathan Mann. A new drinking game that had cups full of beer. Ira Sockman said, and I'm not here. The switching was done by the great Jimmer B, but the editing out was made by Tony. When Leo appeared, the chat realm went wild. He's awesome and wise, with wonder of a child. Before long, the moment I always did fear. The end of the show song. 
that that time was here. But I heard them exclaim as they started to go, Merry Christmas to all. with it all. Hi folks, my name is Brian Brushwood. I'm your host. Joined as always by the inimitable co-host one Justin Robert Young and a cackling special guest one Corey Coleman. Yes! Oh Damn it, I'm God. back. Oh my God! Happy to be here. Alright, what is going on? Justin Robert Rubles the third. Brian Brushwood, I am so excited. It's our Christmas episode, which means anything can happen. Literally, the possibilities are endless. Not, not a miracle. Are... Miracles can't happen. That's, they can't. No, no. We are mere mortal men, and we have not the power to summon miracles. Uh, listen, uh, we we we're gonna we're gonna make it. No, nope. we're gonna make it after all. No, nope. miracles, miracles, miracles are the stuff of legend, and they may have happened long ago, but they certainly don't happen nowadays. We live in the real world, Justin, and in the real world, miracles don't happen. Well, Brian, we're gonna prove that wrong. We're gonna take that. We're gonna spit in its face and throw it down a flight of stairs, and then not tell the police. You tell them, Justin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Corey's here. We're going to do a, a big production Damn of right. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with our friend Tom Merritt. Santa's going to be back. Say, we've been asking all year, when are you going to have Santa back? And we what? say it's ridiculous if we have him any time but Christmas. He's going to be back on the show. Not no. just Santa, but Santa's going to be back. Yeah, no, <laughs> Santa. It's a very sad hobo named Santa who we have on the show from time to time. Oh, Santa! <laughs> As pronounced by James Brown, Santa! <laughs> uh, okay, so let me explain. First of all, we uh, a friend of the show from Spill.com, Corey Coleman. If you are not watching Spill.com, you need to set your face on fire and then never show it again in public because you look hideous and you should be ashamed of yourself. Spill.com is the greatest movie review site in the entire freaking world. Um, he was nice enough to show up in studio along, of course, with my, my young ward, one uh, OMG uh, BCT Tilton. OMG BC yes. Tilton. We keep it real back here, man. Uh, you're, not we, gonna, you're never gonna break this up, right? No, here. no, I would, yeah. I'm never no. gonna break it down. Uh, uh, that's the truth. Look, last year we blew the doors off with our representation of the Charles Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol. This year, you had an audacious plan to double down and even defeat our previous awesome success. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, Brian, we we. People have come to expect that the NSFW Christmas show isn't just a bunch of jerks lollygagging around grabbing each other's buttholes. <laughs> you know, they're going to put a, a classy show out for everybody that, uh, you know, everyone's got... What, what, what is that? <laughs> did, you just, did you just shoot a sonic screwdriver at a curse word that was hovering behind you? Anything can happen on this show, Brian. <laughs> It's a Christmas miracle. What what was that? What's going to happen is we're going to have a Rudolph production, the likes of which had never been seen. Last time, we only had two people. It was me and Tom, and, and, and Brian, you were helping out with, with the Christmas Carol. I played Ebenezer Scrooge. Tom was the, uh, the, the, the ghost of Christmas, past, present, future. This time, we're blowing the doors off. You know what? Let's just bring them on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Petaluma, uh, Tom Merritt joins us everybody tom oh Merritt. my gosh tom drinking a bottle of christmas cheer how are you tom i'm doing well i'm doing uh, i'm doing great what are what are we doing uh well uh <laughs> are, are you, uh you know last year you were so well versed in the christmas carol we found out that you actually read a christmas carol every single year we I figured do. I do. it's true may, maybe maybe this was our own imagination but we just figured you probably read all great christmas stories every year and you probably knew the rudolph rankin bass production by heart, and we thought you could guide us through a retelling, an NSFW retelling of Rudolph. Is that the that's the stop motion one with the with the crappy toys? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. it, yes, it is. And I, also, I, I, do that. I believe there's a place for a black barrister somewhere in there. He's uh, he, who does the the, the robot, <laughs> the electric boogaloo black barrister. <laughs> but, I, yeah, he's the elf that I wants to grow up to be a black son. barrister instead of make I'm toys. Really funky yeah, for that it's elf. in there. I'm sorry. All right, okay. there we go. All right, all right, okay. All right. okay, look. <clears throat> look, here's the thing. I vaguely remember this story, but I'm pretty sure like you, uh, 
tell but, the story but, but, every quick, year. I do, I do just want to point out that this is Rudolph and, and not uh, Medea Does Christmas, which is uh, <laughs> <laughs> what it started to look like. Is that Tyler Perry? <laughs> No, I'm broke as <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, what the hell? Dude, why did you make me do that? Somebody just won the belt. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Is... That's the belt. Ooh, this is like a sexual device to me. <laughs> I don't like that. Right, <laughs> you have the belt of shame as of right now. <laughs> I have the belt of game back here, baby. What the hell you talking about? <laughs> all right, so why'd uh, you bring me here, man? How, you knew no, better than to do look, this. Look, 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 look. We we gotta walk through this. First of all, do you have your costume? I, I do. Okay, good. Because you know we all have characters that we need to play. Should We're I all put ready. it on now? Um, not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, yeah. first, first of all, uh, how, everybody can put it on, right? Well, we can all put on our costumes. Sure. We're gonna we're gonna just run through this. Right? All right. Let's, all right. let's, let's just rock right. and roll. Hold on, everybody. Everybody, be cool. This is a robbery. Uh, now, Tom, you are going to be the narrator. Flex move. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. Did you did you just curse? He did. What? I heard him. I was just he did. Reciting the next line. <laughs> oh man, no. he just totally cursed. What? Get him the belt, man. You gave me the belt. <laughs> okay, now hand it off to somebody else. I shouldn't be the only one to suffer. Okay, good. Oh. You do not. <laughs> you yeah. do not have the belt anymore. Thank goodness. All right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, all right, so so Dom, you are going to be the narrator, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm that snowman, Burl Ives thing. <laughs> silver, you gotta you know, sing. My hand. You gotta sing silver and gold at the beginning. Silver and gold. Silver Everyone gold. wants cash. <laughs> silver and gold. Uh, now, now we're gonna just, we're gonna cycle through. We're all gonna play multiple parts. Uh, we're gonna do our best to put on uh, the Rankin Bass production of, of of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer in, in, in our own uh, fashion. So, so Tom, you're gonna guide us, and and we're just gonna we're taking we're following your lead. You're the point guard. Throw us the ball. Gotcha. We'll take care yep. of you. All right. So, set the scene. It's the North Pole. It's snowing. It's Christmas time. It's chill in the air. Because it's freaking North Pole. Tom, Always listen. I, I don't want to give you notes so early here. But um, how about you start off with like a, like a, oh, hello. It's me, Tom Merritt from the internet. Something like that. Like, so it, 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 it's, in, it's in its own sort of house there. <laughs> Like Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> As some Jesus Christ. Tom Merritt gives you the reason for the season with a half cup full of Jaeger. Oh, right. I'm glad we're not the only ones. Brian gave daddy some of his medicine right now. That's why I'm back to so crazy. It's good for my, good for my, my cold. And the, young, and the lad back here, he has some too. Get your hand off my crutch. <laughs> <laughs> I think, Are I, you think I know that what beer? you want, Justin. All right. I, I, I think I know what you want. All right. All right. I have to, by the way, for the record, this is actually a wig that I was handed and told that it was a beard. So the only way for me to keep it up is to just bite it. So I'm just going to, I'm either going to, I'm either going to bite it like that. Uh, you know that was just on my head, right? Or, or I don't think I can get lice in my mouth. Or I'm going to just float it right here like, oh, little Timmy. You should be ashamed of yourself. I really want to know, is, is, is beard biter some sort of gay slang? Because if it is, I really want to know what it is. It is now. I thought you said because you really want it. I worry about my daughter becoming a beard biter. Justin, <laughs> how you been, man? I've missed you. Oh, I've been great, Corey. God, I mean, gosh, oh, oh the, I've missed you so much, sir. Gosh darn it. Golly gee. Sassafras in oh, time. Gamer. It's been so long. All right, I want to hear silver and gold. Let's rock this. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Hi, I'm Slim the Snowman, and this is the tale of Rudolph. It starts with his father, Donner. He's in charge of all the reindeer, and he thinks his son is a slacker. Why are you so sucky, Rudolph? Oh, uh, because you've never accepted me as I am, father. That's why. <laughs> Why don't you go play with that ambiguously sexual elf then? I did, but <laughs> I, I don't like the way he touches me. And <laughs> the elf's name was Hermie. He wanted to be a black barrister when he grew up. Um, hold on. Oh, uh, 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 <clears throat> that. What the hell? I forgot that? which role I was with. Oh! Did you need this? I wanted so bad to be a barrister when I grow up as a as a small elf. 
If you need the head tools, elf you told like, Hermie to there. get back to work making toys. <laughs> hey! Uh, get oh. the hell back to work! What do you think this is? A Mexican elf? <laughs> you need job? Um, I, I'm not sure I understand. I just really wanted to be a barrister, Your Honor. Listen, as a simplified story, my racism lets you know that I'm a bad character <laughs> who must eventually be defeated. <laughs> right, right, oh, sir. I find you're out of order. Meanwhile, Rudolph said, I don't watch football. And all the other reindeer kicked him and wouldn't let him play anymore. You suck ass, Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I had this red nose, because I have to do cocaine to hide my pain. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this to me. You, <laughs> I've been socially rep uh, repressed into my <laughs> habit that I have. I could have yeah, been saying, I don't know. I don't care how many other reindeers do. It gets better for you. I'm still going to make funny. They each have things. something that makes them unique. Addiction. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Well, that's, <laughs> hello. Hey. <laughs> hey, Rudolph. It's yeah. me. I want to be a barrister when I grow up. I don't want to make toys. I want to... Want to decide criminal law, perhaps some copyright infringement, and make fun of the Yanks and the SOPA? That's nice and all, but can you just hold me? I'm looking for a father figure. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we will hold hands, you and me! Oh, we'll hold more we will, hands. we will hold, this is inappropriate! I don't want sexual figures, I just wanted an adult figure in my life to guide me. search of silver and gold, silver <laughs> and gold. Oh, wait, wait, we got, we got... Wait, I'm sorry. Did we say we meet, met somebody? No, you're going off in search of silver and gold. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, on their Let's... trek, they meet a prospector <laughs> named Ucorn Benelius. Gold! <laughs> <laughs> they find him annoying and kick him in the balls. <laughs> Kick him in, I, I'm yeah, afraid. Kick him in the balls, Rudolph. I'm afraid you're out of order, Rudolph. Oh. And I'm afraid I gotta kick you in the balls. Oh. <laughs> Before they can, he says, "No, I know the sneak it to defeating the abominable snowman." I know how to defeat the bumbo. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, we couldn't hear that because you were off mic, Sneaky Pete. Um, what? Uh, I'm sorry. You're out of order. What? What was it you were saying again? Before you can kick him in the balls, he says, I know the secret to beating the bombable snowman. The, the bumble! The bumble! The bumble! The bumble! <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, no! An avalanche! Ah! Ah! <laughs> gold! Gold! <laughs> I didn't... So, you caught in the bombable snowman disappear, probably ran off together, and Hermie and Rudolph... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's yeah. the KKK branch that hates reindeers. <laughs> oh, help me, Lord. Oh, no. Please don't hang me up by a cross. I was oh, my little elf. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> what I meant was cross the, cross the street safely and with a grown up, is what I meant to say. I didn't. His daughter's in here. Why'd you do this to me, man? <laughs> you didn't say it was going to be that kind of production, man. <laughs> no, just keep that maintain, sir. Just okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's that big oh. beast that reminds me of the KKK. Yes, I'm sorry. What the? All right. You're so on the island of crappy toys. The island of crappy toys. <clears throat> um. Oh, I see. We have many other misfits of a sort. Crappy toys that don't quite match everyone else. For example, I want to be a barrister. What about you, Rudolph? Uh, a barrister? Yes. You you have a freakish nose, well, and a cocaine habit. <laughs> and your hair reminds me of that so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, perhaps I don't know what to do because you have a child in the room and I don't know what to say next. I mean, okay, why would right. you do this, man? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what? Yeah, you guys we are come the in. Why are they? Crappy toys. Do they do they do this to you every okay. week? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here. Uh, what what is your line? Uh, Speak, speak, oh. speak into the microphone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say your line. Uh, hi, my name is Josie Oh, and I'm a comedic device that on his SFW what's here. And the rest of the time, I'm in. Hi, they put me up in this little box. 
What? What? There's a. Can I ask you some special problem? You see right here. Have you have you accidentally had some? <laughs> Social services calling. We skip ahead six months. I don't feel comfortable being here, man. <laughs> this is not right. My God, you bring your child in here when I'm <laughs> simulating about. sniffing Take cocaine in your head. What the hell is going on? version of the Rudolph story. <laughs> <laughs> um, look. All right, all right, all right. So it's six months later. Hermie and Rudolph have gone through puberty, <laughs> and they meet back up with Yukon, Cornelius, and the Bumble. <clears throat> ah, Yukon, it's me, Hermie. You probably <laughs> haven't noticed me since my testicles dropped, but since then I have an irrational desire to have sex with women. Also, it's easier to grow muscle tissue. Does this turn you on? <laughs> <laughs> Do they actually let children have these things? Yes, they do. <laughs> they, they Because I'm excited by this right now. <laughs> Yukon Cornelius, what are we to do, sir? I say that we go look for the bumble. You're with the bumble. Gold? Oh. Wait, uh... Um, Yukon Cornelius has memory problems <laughs> because he's got early onset Alzheimer's. So they lead him slowly back to Santa's castle where the bumble wins over Santa. Uh, oh, wait, it's time for Santa? Yeah. The oh. bumble wins oh. over. <laughs> hold on. <clears throat> here, here, hold on. Here we go. makes a long speech. No, no was, oh, I make a long. <laughs> Please, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bumble, sir, I ain't does nothing. <laughs> I, never had, I never had sex with your daughter. <laughs> she was after me. <laughs> Who could I'm resist those? Every last elf in this mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama no. don't take no time. <laughs> Hold on. Why is there t Santa and terrorist Santa on the screen at the same time? Finally, That's we meet at last. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the bumble so over the there. So the bumble says, I'm just joking about all of the abuse. I'm going to put the star on the tree. LOL. I wasn't going to rape every elf. That's just the <laughs> thing I say to be funny. I'm going to put the star up right now. Don't worry about me. Pretend I'm not here. And Santa says, um, NSFW is the greatest show on the internet. <laughs> and also, Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, and I guess <laughs> happy, happy holidays of whatever secular variety you wish to support this year. Silver and gold, silver and gold, send your royalty checks on Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Tom Merritt and his <coughs> annual holiday is, production. I would like to thank the cast, Brian Brushwood, Blue Cheese John Tilton, <laughs> Corbin Coleman, and a child oh, that was put in a box against the laws of Texas. <laughs> Oh, oh, the mic. Uh, oh. All right, all right, all right. Wait, oh, I still have a toothache. Wait, what is that from? Is that in the show? Yeah, that's <laughs> the whole okay, Bonnie, <laughs> Bonnie has the tooth from the toothache. All right, Hermie fixed the bubbles tooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I actually filed litigation against the tooth of the abominable snowman. Um, hey, man, look, let's take a little break here and let's talk to, um, let's talk about the people who make this possible. Here we go. All right, so we have a special guest returning again. It's uh, what was your name again? Snowy's Elf. And and you live where? In the North Pole at Santa's workshop. Uh, is it cold up there? Is it ever? <laughs> oh, so it's very cold, huh? Mhm. Mm but it's but I mostly don't have to feel it. Only when I go outside to light up the reindeer. Now, how how is it that you don't feel the cold? I'm usually inside making toys. Now, this is interesting because a lot of people want to know what it's actually like inside the workshop while you guys are working on the toys. Can you describe what it's like for you guys? Cold, freezing, scary, dark. Tell me about the real Santa Claus. Red, hot. So he's red and hot. Uh -huh. And? Scary. Scary? Why would he be scary? But he'll probably be trying to burn you. <laughs> he burns you? <laughs> he, well, 
He said fire breathing dragon. <laughs> Dragons are usually like that. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So he's not a human at all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, we are learning all kinds of things about Christmas right now. Hey man, talking about miracle gifts that keep on giving, uh, is somebody paying for this? Of course they are, Brian. Netflix.com. It's this kind of service that you never know <laughs> what you're going to get or what you're going to see. Literally, surprises <laughs> around the corner. Hey, 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 on, hold on, hold, just, just, Justin, be cool, be cool, be cool. What? I don't want, I don't want to say, I don't want to say what's happening, but don't turn around. Okay. Do uh, why would I when I can face a computer that has Netflix on it, Brian? No, no. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whatever. Literally thousands of titles available on Netflix Instant Stream. Right. That's what you're gonna get when you subscribe. To Netflix. Well, okay. Well, what kind of movies can you see on Netflix? And also, shark don't turn movies, around. For example. What? What? All sorts of shark movies. Like like Jaws. Um, if it's not on there, there's another better shark. Ja Jaws. Movie Jaws two. Available to stream right Jaws, now. Jaws three D. This time is personal. Yes, absolutely. All right. And if it's not, there's an even better shark movie that I don't know the name of. But personal discovery is what you are going to get with Netflix. Brian, expand your horizons. It's certainly available if you have the mailing, uh, the mail order stuff. You can get Jaws, Jaws 3D. You can get Jaws movies at your, uh, your GD Wazoo. I'll tell you what, it's going to be the most fun time you ever had in your life. And if you don't have Netflix, then, uh, you know, then get it. And if you do, give it as a, as a gift. That's what I'm doing this year. I'm giving my little brother the gift of Netflix. And if he doesn't like it, I'm literally going to kick him so hard in his mouth, his jaw will fall off. Well, that's awesome. Now, where can people go? Like, because there's some people who like NSFW, but they really want to promote <clears throat> the fact that uh, they, you know they want to keep they want to keep our show afloat. Where should people go? You can go ahead to uh, just just go to Netflix and sign up or Netflix.com/slash/twit. Sign up, and that'll uh, everything goes into the same communal pot. And uh, and we're gonna all show them that Twit knows how to make people buy Netflix. If if there's one thing we're good at. It's making people buy Netflix. Okay, okay, but so so no code. Just go to netflix.com slash twit. Yes, that's it. Also, show the crazy ass shark. I have no idea what you're talking about. I get the feeling there's something that's oh. supposed to happen that you're missing right now. Yeah, well, no, no, no. I, I want to yell so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. The one, the one black man in the room is like, look around. There's I know. a crazy ass shark behind you. <laughs> hey, man. I know I want to yell at the screen. Yo, man. There's a dinosaur behind you, man. There's a T-Rex. Oh, shit. It's Jurassic Park up in this bitch. Oh. Turn around. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. No. I guess. I man. I guess. I guess. Uh, Rudolph did get the bell back. Hey. Uh, look. Uh, he, here's a. It's a special time of year. We've got. Uh, did. Did people really send us letter to Santa? Uh, they did. They did. Uh, and actually, I'll tell you what. I will pull that up. But we do have a very special. Uh. uh holiday gift giving guide that got sent to us today. Wait. Wait. wait what do you do? Uh, what is this? You don't throw me just a random curveball like this. Yeah, uh, Brian, uh, if you have it, uh, provide it to you. It's a surprise to me. I don't even know what it is. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There, there's, uh, I have a link from, from freaking John Tilton that says, special video, do not click until Justin says to. Is that really what I'm supposed to do? Uh, Brian, we have a special holiday gift giving guide that I don't even know what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm on blind faith on this. All right, let's take a look. It says here, Christmas surprise from Steve. Hey everybody, it's me, Steven Tillinger, <laughs> with your 2011 Laserdisc Holiday Gift Guide. Here's some recommendations. How about the one where Beetlejuice sleeps upside down? <laughs> Han Solo and James Bond team up to find a cup from a dirty night, the movie. <laughs> Mel Gibson makes a Jewish boyfriend. <laughs> And also the Disney classic, Slutfish, sing me a song. This is your 2011 holiday gift guide from me, Steve McTellanduder. Say it. Say it. Say it. I love Laserdisc. Yes! He looks a lot like you, man. I don't know. I don't know. Can Maybe I recommend something for Christmas? Gym. Wait, oh, you got something to recommend for Christmas? Yes, I do have what something do, to recommend what, for what Christmas. What do you got? 
this right here, this is the hottest. Look at that. That's like the hottest thing I've ever seen, man. Yeah, yeah. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. <laughs> it's, no, it's squeezing right, me. I love audio. this. There's, Look there's at that, man. Right now holding up mm. a toy. Right that mouth opens sideways. Oh, and I, you know what? Horizontal. Dude, oh, dude, look dude. at that. Look, look. Wait, but watch. Oh, first, right. watch this. Like, whoa. <laughs> I just want to take this home, have sex with my girl, and have it look at me and do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, make my own threesome with this, man. This is awesome. They should not sell this to children, because this is, this is for man with little penises. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, I think um, that's... Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm in Japan. Merry Christmas! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Listen, we are trying to get on the line. I'm going to turn up the audio here. And, uh, and in fact, I'm going to try... Let me do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel this. I, I'm going to place a call... To, to, to the North Pole. Uh, I do want to remind uh, everybody, as we get Santa on, uh, one of the friends of the show, Andrew Main, his new book, Chronological Man, The Emperor of Mars, is out now. Go to uh, Amazon, search for Chronological Man, Mars. You're going to find it. Or I made a very convenient bit.ly leak that I can't find right now. But I think it's AMZN uh, something, something, Main Mars. Somebody find that for me. I'll say it again. But go ahead. Right. Let's get uh, Santa on the phone. I would like to point out that uh, <clears throat> that my mom just tweeted, and my mom never tweets, but she definitely, definitely just tweeted, is that Corey in all caps, and then uh, uh, says live at ustream dot slash whatever or whatever. So mom is watching this. Mom just saw that. Good. She can see it again. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mother. Do you love me now? <laughs> You know, years ago, before Twitter existed, my mom tweeted meant something entirely else. <laughs> I, I love you, Mrs. Brushwood. Okay, all right. And so does Young right, so, uh, Justin, do you have? Do you happen to have all of the uh, the, the the emails for Santa all queued up? Uh, yeah, I got them all ready to go. Okay, well then, let me go ahead and see if I can get our Lord and Overlord uh, one. <laughs> One. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm gonna send him this. We'll we'll get him. Oh great! Oh. Tom Merritt's already passed out with uh, the Jägermeister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom, focus, focus. Come on, man. We may need you for a future bit. Sit, hang in there. You're doing great. I'm good. I'm, I'm almost good. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching HGTV. Yesterday. All right, uh, Santa, do we have you on the line, buddy? Yes, I believe I'm on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, live But I'm not sending Pole, video again this year. Santa Claus himself. Okay, I mean, no, hold on. Santa, you, you, you're not sending us video? What's going on? Trying to send a video. <laughs> I'm pressing a little video button in the Skype that my elves designed and made in their workshop. Okay, uh, wait, which? Glitchy. <laughs> Sound like Santa's <laughs> taking a crap right now. I'm <laughs> trying to get video. <laughs> Is which uh, Santa? Which one second, please? Which, <laughs> uh, is, is Santa? Did Santa build? A... I'm so, why did you bring me here, man? Santa, did you did uh, did you build a Mac or a PC version of a Skype I think machine? Santa tweeted. <laughs> Mac version of a Skype machine. Uh, did, well, did you did you download the new version of Skype on yes, Mac? Yes, Santa downloaded also? the new version of Skype. <laughs> did Did you wish really hard? Yes, and it also worked when Santa appeared on Sarah Lane's show yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, Santa, are you just looking for the link, the button to press to no, send video? No, 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 I pressed the button. This little thing is spinning around in there. <laughs> like I'm trying well, to well, you want to you know what's Santa here? Let, let's just get right to the letters, because I know a lot of people are sitting on the edge of their seat. No, uh, no, no, let's try to get this to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! I thought, oh, I thought I saw something from Santa just there for a second. Oh, wait a minute! Harder. Wait a minute! Could it be a Christmas miracle about to happen? Mir I, I thought I saw it for just a second. It, it looked like something was about to happen. I swear, Justin, this is not horse okay. pocky, pucky. Yes. Horse puppy. Hor oh, it's not horse puppies. Just hold on, Santa's masturbating right now. <laughs> 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 it keeps. It keeps. <laughs> Santa's yeah. defiling your image. Santa double clicks on it, it turns red for a second and then quits. <laughs> well, it looks like it's almost sending us video. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It looked. Hey, hold on. I, I do actually. I want to show what it's. Uh, go ahead. Keep going, Santa. S click the button. Show us what we almost get. See? 
That's what we get to see. Is we almost <laughs> see starting video, and uh, then uh, and then uh, that's all right. That's all right. He ain't no Santa uh -oh. Claus. Oh wait, uh -oh. wait, wait, wait! If the whole audience believes, no, maybe. could could this be a Christmas <laughs> miracle? Everybody clap, clap if you want to believe in Santa. I do believe in Santa. I do believe in Santa. <laughs> Hold on, they're clapping. They're clapping in the chat room. That's for sure. Your precious Lord Santa doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Devil Santa? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. And I've just defiled your young assistant over here. <laughs> How do you feel? Do you feel like a man now? <laughs> I love that shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's really going to be a black to Christmas after <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. that's just racism right there. <laughs> maybe Santa should try iChat. <laughs> well, well, maybe Santa should know that on iChat we can't connect with you. Maybe you can restart Skype. Yeah, restart Skype. Go ahead and kill Skype and come back. Santa. And in the meantime, we're we'll going a spinning dial right here. I'll tell Christmas. you what, Justin. Santa what already tried that, but I'll try it again. All right, go. In fact, reboot your computer. Have you tried rebooting? Reboot. Uh, look. Buy a new computer, Justin. <laughs> yes. Uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, give us one of the questions for Santa, and let's handicap what we think Santa's actually going to say. All right, so this one comes in from iPod Parf. He writes, I was wondering, I had to go into my attic to find what apparently is the only blanket in my entire home, and I saw presents that appeared to be labeled from you. How do you explain that? <laughs> uh, okay, well, first of all, I think the answer is... That one seems a little testy. To say. No, 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 no. I think, it's, I think it's perfectly reasonable because, like, I would be messed up if I saw that. And the answer, of course, is I would assume that it's extraordinarily expensive to load all the presents you plan to deliver in the entire world onto your sled in advance and then take them. Think about, think about getting a rocket to the moon, right? You don't load it with all the... You, you throw as much in orbit as you can, then you go up there and you pick it up and you keep on going, right? I would imagine it's Brian, just... Brian, may I answer that? Yes, please. That's okay? Go. Yeah. Uh, it's not Santa's fault, whoever asked that question. Your parents hate you and are keeping your stuff. And those are presents from last year that they've hidden from you. <laughs> and they're probably going to hide some stuff from you this year, too. That's pretty good. You're probably going to be in a foster home by next theory. year, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Corey, uh, yes. there's, there's a long answer and there's a short answer. Yes. The short answer is decoy presents. The long answer is decoy presents for little assholes like you. Like me? No, not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I mean, that's appropriate. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've known you long enough now. You can call me <laughs> Uh, yeah, people are asking whether or not that qualifies as a win for the belt. I don't know. That. By the way, I was about to say, what you know, you just shoved the belt down my throat, as Nancy said. But he, he wow. can say he can say asshole, and you just like, oh, Justin gets a pass. What the hell well, is going everyone, on? Everyone, if that? that is a curse, then you said it now, so That's you right. get it back. So again. You definitely get the belt. That's because I want it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> I, I, all right, all right, yeah. all right. Oh, <laughs> I want the belt too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Look. Um. Uh. Do we want to take a moment and see a, uh, see another video from our jaded elf before we get Santa back on? Oh wait. No. Hold sure. on. He's calling right now. Hold on. Here we go. I'm answering with video. It says Santa is calling, and the question is, Santa, are you there? Yes, Santa is here. Um, can you send video? It said you were yes, video. Yes, just trying to send video again, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a pedophile, Santa. <laughs> I'm trying to send video, little boy, of my penis to you right now. Are your parents in the room? <laughs> That's all right. We can go audio only with Santa because it's hard to get a connection all the way up to the North Pole. Santa, oh. the first question we have. Justin, you want to read it to him? It's coming from iPod Parf, Santa. I was wondering, I had to go into my attic to find what was apparently the only blanket in the entire house, and I saw presents that appeared to be labeled from you. How do you explain that? That, again, is from iPod Parf. Uh, could you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, this, this young fellow went into his attic uh, and found presents that were labeled from you. How do you explain that if you're not going to be delivering presents until Christmas Eve? There are several explanations for this. First of all, Santa is very good at breaking and entering. Santa is a, uh, is a little bit of a burglar, you see. We have to finance this whole, this whole giving gifts to all the world's children somehow. So that's one of the way we do it. We, uh, we go into people's houses and we steal things from, see, your neighbor's houses. All right, and then we wrap okay. those things. And then we, we put them in your attics for your parents to give to you. 
I, I there think we that's, go. That's it was just a simple answer. Yeah. No. What else? What else you got, Justin? Dear Santa, this comes from Drew Shipper. It seems that this economy is getting real bad. I'm not sure if I should make a move to a new job or not. How are job opportunities in the North Pole? Are there? Oh, it's terrible up here. <laughs> Big trouble up in the. You, you know, the elves are so unhappy with their pay. In fact, that they're occupying Santa's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? They they're accusing Santa Claus of being part of the one percent. <laughs> it's just, I, you know, I told them. I said you'd be in the one percent too if you could fly around the damn world in one night delivering gifts to all the world's children. <laughs> I don't deserve a little compensation for that. You think I, I'm supposed to give you equal pay for sitting on your ass all day painting the eyes on some goddamn dolls? I mean, it's craziness. <laughs> Santa, you've always been Bruce Wayne to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do go by the name of Bruce sometimes to Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, we're having trouble again, Mrs. Claus and I. <laughs> well, I bet bitch. maybe maybe I, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Go go ahead, Justin. You were saying. But we'll address that. I'm about to graduate college with a fine arts degree. Could Santa advise me on what fast food restaurant would be best to ply my new useless trade? I've been a good boy this year. What would be the best fast food restaurant? Um, how about Frosty Freeze? Frosty Freeze. We have those. Of course, that's the only, the only fast food restaurant that we have up here in, 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 in the North Pole because everything else, well, everything else just kind of doesn't sound very good. It just sounds <laughs> disgusting, you know, like an Islands burger or something like that. It doesn't sound very compelling up in the freezing north, you know. Now, now hold on. Now, real quick, this is uh, I, you're you're suggesting this is somebody who has a degree from a university. A you fine arts degree. You're asking this fine arts degree graduate to come spend the rest of his life throwing burgers at the North Pole. Why? Why is that a good idea? <laughs> I, you know what? I, how am I supposed to give this kid advice? I don't have any children. <laughs> <laughs> no, is, this, is that something you're sensitive about? That might be out of Santa's depth. I, I, yes, it is. I, Mrs. Claus and I have tried to conceive many, many times. <laughs> but you many, do have a hundred midgets that you put well, in slave hold on labor. Just a second. Uh, uh, people, I'm I'm, try, I'm I'm trying to switch here to a PC machine that I made, which which also has a Skype machine on it. Hold on. You made this in your workshop. Uh, okay, look, let me confer real quick with Justin Robert Young. Justin, uh, yeah. look, I I don't want to upset Santa because personally, I want to get a present or two. Are are we pushing too hard on the questions? Are we are we gonna distress him? No, no, I I think this is going very 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 well. Apparently, you and I have very, 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 very different definitions for very well. <laughs> no, I think we should continue this line of questioning. This is going to be like Frost Nixon by the end. Of it. We're gonna get stuff <laughs> Jack, out of, it's out of Jack Santa. Frost and Santa Nixon taking each exactly. other down. It, okay, finally. listen, um, I'm going to uh, let, let, let me try this here. Let me, let me gonna, I'm going to sign off again, <laughs> and you people try to call me again. Okay, done and done. There you go. So long, Santa. Sorry. Oh, my God. I thought we'd never We're, we're going to bring Santa back, and the question we're going to ask him is, uh, sometimes uh, my daddy hits my mommy. He says he needs to keep the women in place. How do you keep Mrs. Claus in her place? Do you prefer an open hand or a belt? So, There's well, no way. That's, that that's, that's inappropriate to ask Santa. He's, he's, he's God's only beloved that son. That is inappropriate. By the way, the answer is a, a bag of oranges because they don't show bruises when you hit them. <laughs> Mrs. Claus can't say nothing about that. <laughs> I would, of course, think that the answer would be to go to uh, amzn.to slash Maine Mars, M-A-Y-N-E-M-A-R-S. Dude, buy can, can I show? Is the trailer ready to show yet? Can I show the trailer? There's no, I don't know what you're talking about. The book's available. I want to show the trailer. The trailer's well, awesome. There isn't one. Well, yeah, but if there was a trailer, I could totally... That would be really nice. And when there is... Gollum right now? I, want to show the I, I turn into Gollum when I want to show the trailer to my friend Andrew Maine's hey. awesome book. Uh, okay, look. We're going to hope for a Christmas miracle! Oh! Yeah! Santa Claus, ladies and gentlemen! It's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> yes! Let, let Santa get his headphones. Where the hell are they? <laughs> I didn't think that this would work. Where are the headphones? <laughs> <laughs>
They're on my head. <laughs> How funny. Oh, Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, everything is good. Fine now, everything. Oh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, Santa, it is such an honor to have you back on the program. So I don't glad. Know who the hell that other guy was? That was a disaster, though. No, that guy, that guy was a disaster. Are you drinking Coca-Cola? Is that, is that a sponsorship deal that you have? Of course, it's Coca-Cola. It's, 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 it's this whiskey. yellow, frothy Coca-Cola that we have up here in the North Pole. <laughs> Delicious. And it makes well, let, you... let me ask you this, Santa. This comes in from the, the swagger. Sometimes my daddy hits my mommy. He oh says my he needs God. to keep <laughs> in her place. How do you keep Mrs. Claus in her place? Do you prefer an open hand or a belt? Oh, I listen. I don't hit Mrs. Claus. That's that's ridiculous. Sometimes I would like to hit Mrs. Claus. <laughs> believe me. Oh my God, it's been terrible. You have no idea the pressure that I have getting a gift for this woman you know i mean she i could i i can make anything in the goddamn world for her <laughs> in the santa's workshop and she's still i what are you supposed to give her i try every i say give her oh oh she's like oh thanks a lot another diamond the size of my fist <laughs> hey, a crust with gold that's that's great Santa. i preach it's impossible what do you buy for a woman who can get anything in the world? So things really aren't going well between you and Mrs. Claus. No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, it's whole has it been bad for a while? The whole family's terrible. <laughs> so, man, I feel, I feel my, like... My, my, my son... What, my what about your son? son is Kim, Kim Il on Santa. <laughs> So he's, he's, just, he's just lying around looking at NBA highlights, waiting to take over the family business? No, no, y yes, yeah, 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 the, the great success of my ass. <laughs> you know? Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe, this maybe, maybe this, uh... you, think, you think that I'm fat, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> he's an idiot. I swear to God, when I finally croak, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna get the, the, the North Pole nuclear stockpile. He's going to blow this whole world up. The whole thing's going to be... Yeah, no, just wait for that. You no, hold on. Hold on. No, the North Pole is nuclear in Yeah, I, I did not know you guys actually were part of the nuclear club. You actually have a nuclear stockpile? Are you kidding me? You, 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 you dig two feet down in the snow. What do you find? Uranium. <laughs> Pure uranium. Of course we're part of the nuclear club. That's what we make in the off-season in Santa's workshop. We make nuclear weaponries. All we right. sell it to the Iranians. How do you think we finance this whole? <laughs> All thing. right, well here we go. Maybe maybe this will get us back on track here. Uh, this comes from track. Tito. Dear Santa, I wish for unicorns, and most importantly, I wish death upon you and your family. May you rot in Lincoln's grave. See you soon, Cheeto. Wow. Let me tell you something. First of all, take off the goddamn Santa hat, pal. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm talking I to you. To what do you think this you. is? You think the, the, the Pope walk, you know, people walk around with the Pope hat on during the high <laughs> holidays? I mean, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Why is everyone trying to cop Santa style? Yeah. I'm sorry. I was, I was trying I want, to show There was a question. Somebody was saying terrible things about me. You're going to say yeah, terrible things death about upon Santa Claus? You. Yeah. Well, guess what? We make automatic weaponry up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe I ought to just, uh, you know, get the reindeer to come down there and do a drive-by. <laughs> fly-by. Fly-by, right? <laughs> That's right. A fly-by. Oh, 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 very good, Brian. <laughs> very, very good. You are quite a witty little thing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Santa, we have, we have one more question here. It comes from Patrick. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to on the sleigh these days? I assume Christmas music has gotten old after all the centuries. Have you tried punk, death metal, perhaps reggae? What does Santa rock out to? What does Santa rock out to? Uh, uh, Santa definitely would not listen to this podcast on the sleigh. <laughs> because, you know, I'd crash the damn thing from falling asleep. This is terrible. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, what what is that? I you know it depends on what you know. I I don't even remember year to year what we go out and, and listen to. I mean, last year I was practically blackout drunk when I was driving the damn thing. <laughs> so is that is that something that you you have a few pops in you? 
A few pops? Are you kidding me? You think I could get through the whole night doing that, to, delivering stuff to all the world's children without without being a little liquored up? <laughs> it's an impossibility. So, so what, what, what's your schedule? Let's say uh, you're, you're, you're wrapping things up, you're, you're in Asia, you know, like, like how many beers or liquor drinks is Santa at? Like how, well, how wasted, Asia? wasted for, for Old oh St. Nick? Oh my God. By the time I get to Asia, oh, uh, let's just say that that's when we're into the tiger brew, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of swoop down and take some from the Koreans. <laughs> Very Korean focus this year, Santa. Uh, it's let, a let's very Korean fun. Christmas, haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, uh, the good news is that we uh, have answer title. Patrick's question. Uh, uh, Santa, so what, what is on your iPod? What's the first song? Like, you're real pumped to get out there, start delivering toys. What, what's the song you put on to, to, to really get things going? Um, uh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> that surprised you, didn't it? It did. It did. I, I thought didn't know I was going to say that. some death metal or something a little witty. Well, you know, sometimes Santa likes the classics. Sometimes, you know, Santa likes a little pumping up. Santa likes people dreaming about the old man. <laughs> well, a little, little, little randy sometimes, dreaming of a white <laughs> Christmas. That's me. I'm the white Christmas. Well, well, there, there we go. Uh, that, that's all the, the letters we have uh, for Santa. I know, obviously, you're on a busy schedule. Thank you for carving uh, a little time out this year, as, as you have uh, uh, last year. We hope to have oh, you on. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm sorry. It was just an absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We, we actually do have, real quick, there's a last-minute question here. Uh, last-minute question. I saw Santa kissing Mommy under the Christmas tree, but this confuses me because mo usually my two mommies kiss each other and no one else. Please explain this. You want to you pick that one up? Yes, Santa's into two hot lesbians just like anyone else. There's your <laughs> All right, that is Let it. me just tell you what. I kissed both your mommies that night. <laughs> <laughs> A pretty leering Santa. Uh, look, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Santa, for uh, for for hanging with us. Um, but unfortunately, we got to run. We got to talk to our sponsors. Everybody, uh, let's let's give a big uh, ho 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 for, for Mr. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Everybody. Next year. Ho ho ho. <laughs> so long. Take care, Santa. Please bring me um, happiness. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Let's... Santa always has problem with Skype. Why is it Santa? Man? I don't know. Look, let's 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 take a little break and then we'll talk to our sponsor. Here we go. Now you've actually been there, so you can actually describe what are what are elves really like. Jagged teeth. They got jagged teeth. Smell really bad. They smell bad. <laughs> oh, I guess it's, okay. Well, I mean, I guess I guess you yeah. But okay, all right. And then what what do what do they want in their hearts? Like uh, like if they could destroy do... all of humanity. Wait, wait they <laughs> they want to destroy all of humanity. Yeah. Okay, so if if they if you saw a bunch of them coming at you on the street, what should you do? Set a bunch of traps. And destroy them. <laughs> destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy everything! Man, those elves, man, they have it out. They have it out. I think Santa and his really elves crap, the belt, right. man. I'll tell you what, it really looks like Bonnie in that one. Uh, wait, uh, wait, with the elf? The elf looks like Bonnie? I don't know, randomly. Just, uh, just, just uh, you know, I, I guess I see it in the eyes, you know, in the eyes and yeah. the smile. I can, I can kind of see that. Yeah, no, that's a good observation. Uh, look, hey, who's paying for this, Justin? Squarespace.com, Brian. Never uh, heard of them. Tell me about, about it. it all the gosh darn time. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. It just makes me think of that old holiday chestnut. Squarespace.com websites being set up so easily. <laughs> you can do it very simply. Just go to Squarespace.com slash NSFW. Set up a website 
that won't crash even if the feds try and take it down. Seriously, try it. <laughs> Wait, did we just do two Squarespace ads? Who did we talk about before? Netflix. No, oh, yeah, no, never heard of those guys. But seriously, NSFW12 is the code you want to use on Squarespace so that you can actually, um, you know, give us a billion dollars. In fact, we can guarantee every time you use Squarespace code NSFW on checkout, we get a billion dollars and we send a trillion of it back to you. Absolutely. It's a total pay scam. Squarespace.com. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scam. It's a pyramid scheme. NSFW12. You know, Brian, I'll tell you what. Um, this is normally in the show where for big special episodes like this, uh, we have a musical guest. Yeah, but uh, we, 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 look, I, why are you bringing this up? Because we talked about this before the show. You, you did this whole thing like, oh, Get Set Go, they're our go-to guys. They're totally going to make it happen. And you're like, well, Get Set Go had epilepsy this week, and now they're not going to uh, they got, yeah, it was, it was a, a big miscommunication, and, and they can't do it, so... C Christmas music is it's canceled this year, Brian. Nobody will be able to I mean, sing I mean, that's no, that's no big deal because we didn't have Christmas music last year. It was still precious. I mean, yeah. why, why? Promise me a, a musical guest, man. Okay, okay. I, I did. I did promise you a musical guest. You do a brother like this, man. No, no. Listen, I, uh, you and I. I mean, I understand. That's the only reason why I came over here. I look. I understand you're saying that, but I don't. I think you weren't really expecting music. No, don't tell me that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I ain't gonna do it this time. Okay, I, Corey, come on. You know, you know we're close. You're my heart. You know we're close. You know we're close, but I think it's too I'm much. Okay, Corey, do you want me to make a phone <laughs> you know call what, and see if we can, we can? Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Somebody, whoa, who's I, that? I heard somebody singing "Silver and Gold." Oh. No, I got, I got two reasons why uh, it sucks that you don't have a uh, musical guest right here. Oh, what, what are the two reasons? <laughs> 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 this one and this one. Hold on, I actually can't see anything. I, I'm not receiving video right now from you guys. Yeah, so that's look. okay. You get the message. What What were they? What did he just do? Did he just win the belt? <laughs> nah. Wait, did Tom just flip me off? Is that really what just happened? Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, Jammer B, it'd be really crazy if someone just randomly came on. <clears throat> Here it is. Our musical guest. The hell was that? That was that was Tom Merritt, and oh, that here's guy, that guy Kim like Jong this doll right here. <laughs> <Kim Jong -il. laughs> Wait a minute! Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. I thought I saw somebody coming <laughs> what, on. What's going That's on crazy. with the show? This is it. What? You, what, the, what, 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 what did I just see? What is this? Oh my God! Yes? No? Can you hear me? Holy cow! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, international recording artist George Robb's here! Oh my god, hey. George Robb! Who was there for our amazing live NSFW show at Dragon Con? What a Christmas miracle! He comes showing up last minute to save the show! The crowd is going absolutely bananas for you! Wow, I can't believe you're actually here! Well, you know, I was in the workshop here and I figured I'd just stop by and say, Hey, do you guys need some music? Oh my goodness, you have no idea. We were we totally do. screwed. See, what? it's a Christmas miracle. Miracle. That's what it is. Damn it. I don't believe in Christmas? Yeah, can you play your song, I Don't Believe in Christmas, to bring Christmas cheer to our, to our Christmas episode? Totally, totally. This is like, this is an atheist Christmas song. All right, <laughs> so I don't want to offend anybody, but that's what this is coming from. So are we ready? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, you sound Here we fantastic. Go, ladies and gentlemen, proving that nothing brings Christmas cheer like an atheist on Christmas. George! Uh -huh. Every time this time of year, I weigh the way we spread good cheer and wonder if it matters one bit why we're nicer. My advice, sir. Enjoy what the day brings, despite stories of kings. Relish the things that you give and are given. Every time this time of year, I explain in ways plain and clear. To my relief, 
I have no belief in the reason for the season, but I'm one who defends if these means to these ends result in smiling friends who once were strangers. Where's the danger? Cause I don't believe in Christmas. But I love it anyway. Every time this time of year, I voice a voice some don't hold dear. And proudly shout, despite my doubt, season's greetings at family meetings. And I still can enjoy, like when I was a boy, unwrapping every toy that I get. And each one I'm giving, this is living. Cause I don't believe in Christmas. But I love it anyway. The best of intentions never equal the gifts that you got. With a season so perfect, I'll forgive that its reason is not. Every time this time of year, I love the love both far and near and wonder if it matters one bit why we're nicer. Please be nicer. Let's all be nicer. George, stick with us for just a second. We got to pay one more bill. This is a special occasion. Uh, as a, another Christmas miracle, we have three sponsors on the NSFW show. Let's take just a moment. And uh, I believe Leo bravely volunteered to take over, explaining what is so great about Ford Automotive Company. Let's take it over to Leo. Hey, it's Leo Laporte here for this week in tech. You know, you've heard me talk about my twenty uh, my twenty ten Ford Mustang and how much I love Ford Sync. The folks at Ford have just lent me the new twenty twelve. Ford Focus, and this has got my Ford Touch as well as the Ford Sync, and some really nice new features, including Wi Fi. It's got uh, the Ford services, the Sync services, and App Link, which allows me to play apps right from my phone. I thought I'd take you for a little ride and show you some of the things it can do. Come on. Let me just show you this screen. I'm going to keep it, I usually keep it on this, the home screen. You see all of this stuff here very easily, but the point is not to look at this screen or even touch the screen. The point is you're driving down the road. You want to keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road. But I want to, let's say, find uh, somewhere I'm going to go. So I press this paddle here. That's the signal to get Sync to listen to me. Listen. Street address. In California, say a street address including the city. 140 Keller Street, Petaluma. Say a line number. One. So again, I haven't touched the screen. I haven't done anything except talk to it. I'm going to press this button. Set as destination. Setting destination. And we're on our way. But let's say we're lost. We want to go somewhere. Destination POI. By name or by category. By name. P-O-I name. Jack in the box. So now it's going to find all the local Jack in the boxes, but there's a number of them, so I can pick which one I want. Please choose. Line one. Set as destination. Setting new destination. And now we've got a map, and it's going to walk me through it, and we're on our way to Jack in the Box. The route guidance will start now. Thank you. <laughs> 
car, man. That, 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 was, that, was, that was a hell of an ending there. The story, that, was like, that was like an abrupt, like, gotcha Was that a prostitute that in that car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting favors in this car right now. I'll tell you what. I'll mention the reason why they start doing those pre-recorded ads so we can't screw them up. So we'll just do our best before and after. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you what. We're going to be back with another song from, from George uh, uh, Rob, but let's, let, let's say... Uh, <laughs> our, our goodbyes uh, now. Uh, Brian, would you like to go first? Uh, look, first of all, we don't usually do this, but let's make this crazy sentimental. Uh, I am so happy this Christmas that we are at over 100 episodes, still uh, rocking. Uh, Bri Brian, listen, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to step in on this. Uh, you actually uh, have to make sure that you don't just praise Christmas. Uh, also, the Zoroastrian religions and the pig gods of New Guinea. So just make sure you throw those in. Pretend I'm not here. You're doing a great show. I, I, I'll do my best, Ira. Um, <clears throat> I am so thankful for uh, this Christmas, uh, Zoroaster's birthday, and the pig guineas. Uh, that That's de great. That's great. You're great, Brian. Okay, okay, good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we've hit uh, 100 episodes in rocking and that we have such a committed, amazing fan base. Sincerely, the fine denizens of Chat Realm have been like uh, the best thing to happen in the last three and a half years of my life, and I just want to give a thanks to that. What about you, Justin? Uh, well, you know, let's go with Corey. Corey and John first. All right, go. Oh, go ahead, man, please. Oh, what are we doing right now? We're, we're, I guess we're uh, being thankful for whatever oh, we have being, this we're Christmas. Being thankful for. Yeah. Uh, I am thankful for my uh, boss, Brian for, uh, for, for my boss who uh, doesn't beat me every, every day when I do something <laughs> wrong. And uh, uh, I'm thankful for me who does beat him when he does something <laughs> right. And I'm thankful for uh, what is on everyone's Christmas list. Oh, of year. course. The, uh, the crazy mouth reindeer guy. <laughs> yes. I'm, no, I am thankful. Good stocking stuff. It is. It is stuff something else in there. Too. I am thankful. <laughs> That Brian is my friend. I'm thankful that he's had me on his show again. I've had a great time on this show. Uh, I, I, I don't. After the yes, but, but after that sketch we did earlier today, I don't think uh, I'm, I'm going to be on sex offenders list now. I'm not going to be allowed 100 feet within an elementary school because his daughter came into it and I was talking crazy. I want to thank Steampunk Elton John for coming on and offending my Lord Jesus Christ. I, I don't really thought I didn't think that was necessary but no I'm I'm, I'm I believe in Santa Claus but I be believe in Jesus I'm not I don't care but uh he was I want to I want and I just want to thank you know I just want to thank you Brian why I don't know why. I've done, I've done nothing but ruin your life. Why would you thank me? Because you gave me booze and I thought I ruined your show cuz I got a little tipsy tonight. That's why I thank you. Uh, what's your name again? Brian. Right, Brian, Brian, yes. Brian, Brian. <laughs> Brian, so yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Justin, thank you for being you, man. Oh, Corey, listen, you're always, you're, you're lightning in a bottle whenever you come on. It's, it's the fact that I've gotten to meet Corey and, and have a relationship with all the fine denizens in Cherum that I love. Listen, uh, it, it's been the greatest miracle of my life. It, it would be like as if it snowed down here in Florida. Uh, that's the kind of miracle that... Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what? No. Oh, oh. It's snowing, everybody! Oh my oh, God! Christmas miracle here <laughs> on the NSFW show! What are the odds? Oh, it's really coming down! <laughs> Good Lord! Uh, folks, I love you guys! I love amzn.to slash main Mars! M-A-Y-N-E-M-A-R-S! Chronological Man, the Emperor of Mars! Available right now, 99 cents only on Amazon! I love you guys! <laughs> Oh, man, oh. let's get everybody out here. Come right, on, everybody. Everybody, everybody. everybody. Oh. let's get Bonnie the Invisible Wife in here. Come on, everybody, come Merry on Christmas. in. Let's get all in there. Where's, where's, there's, uh, oh. Hey, what's going on, Tom Mayer? What's up with you? <laughs> you guys are unicorns of internet righteousness. <laughs> <laughs> no. You are not a bitch. <laughs> what are you thinking? Of? What are you thinking of, man? What are you thankful for? You guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I can think of no better way than for that to be our lead-in to, ladies and gentlemen, George Robb singing Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. No way! Oh, hey. Wait, we got George Robb back again! Oh, my, oh my <laughs> God! We got George Robb back again! Oh, my. come here, man. Come here. Oh, I'm, I'm praying for this day. I'm praying for this day. Yeah. Go, go, George. Oh, go, go, go. You have go. no idea who I am, and I totally appreciate it. I love it. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. 
Midnight carols being sung by a choir Folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Will help to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly and so I'm offering this simple phrase for kids from 1 to 92 although it's been said many times many ways Merry Christmas to you they know that Santa's on his way Loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple phrase For kids from 1 to 92 Though it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Have a not safe and it's WWMLSW Christmas, everybody. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. All right, look, uh, we absolutely love each and every one of you. We hope you guys had as much fun this holiday season as we have. Go out there, kick some ass, and keep us alive because you are the best people that ever happened to our entire lives. Thank you so much. That is it for me, Brian Brushwood, on behalf of Corey Coleman, one John Tilton, the blue cheese master of stuff. Get on over here. What are you, are you looking for, gold? What do you got? What do you got? I'm looking for gold, but I can't find it. There you go. And of course, uh, Justin Robert Young and Tom Merritt. Not you, Iris Sockman. You're dead to me. Get out of here. You're done. You know how much this snow cost us? <laughs> okay, good night. That's it, party people. Love you guys. can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW. Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Than to spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Oh my god, was that amazing? Well, there we go, folks That was a hell of a time that work? Was that... Uh, I, I, did everything work? Uh, uh, George, dude, amazing. George, amazing. George, you were perfect. You were perfect in every way. Right down to the hey, awesome. Fabulous job, George Rabb. Uh, seriously, you. you are phenomenal, and the internet explodes with joy the moment you show up on the cool. show. Way yeah. freaking rad. It was awesome. Yeah, and, and thank awesome. you, uh, George. You came. You came. Uh, you were such a hero, riding in on on a gilded uh, gilded wind of amazingness. Yeah. So. yeah. Right, I've got the whole atmosphere here for everybody, and what? we got the whole and thing. It's like, so, yeah. did, it looks amazing. Did you like smear Vaseline on your webcam in order to get that awesome effect? No, that's just I always do that. Just, that's just <laughs> Everything's <fun>. glowy. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. Cool. Good. Good. Thanks, so, guys. Right, so thank you. Uh, Geologicrecords.net is where you need to go for for George uh, George's stuff. Are you? Are you? Uh, are you? Uh, real quick, Corey, are you heading out? You look like you're heading out. I'm going to sit here for a little bit. What do you want me? Do I need to go? No, no. You just no. got up and started moving. I was like, oh, oh no, I'm just no. trying to get out the way. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. you're delightful. And George, I didn't mean to, like, give you that smart ass comment. I was drunk. <laughs> I, you know, a steampunk Elton John, that's a new one for me. But I appreciate it. <laughs> so you really did hear that. Okay. I, I, oh, I yeah. thought gone. I'm hey. sorry. <laughs> 
it's good. It's good. No. Can, can, we, can we title the episode Steampunk Kill the Dog? <laughs> uh, yeah, please. Please. Now we gotta have something Christmas. Like in the dildo. Yeah. It's, it's oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I take it back. All right. Wait, did 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 uh, I don't know. It's... did Rob just win the belt? Is that did that really just happen? I think, I think uh, he did. Well, oh, we'll yeah. figure it out. That's going that's going to the judges. I think it's either me or Rob who, who won. I think I cursed. Ah, uh, the... there's something behind you, Justin. Something inappropriate. Oh, what? This yeah. is a word. Is well, it, no, uh, it's, the, uh, the, it's Lin Fu's last name, and then it's a symbol for a strikeout. I don't understand why that's inappropriate, Brian. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> F-U twit K. <laughs> our, our, our producer, Lin Fu, and then the twit yeah. symbol. And then she's like, she's amazing on the mound. So she struck someone out. Oh, she's oh. got a real, she's got a killer fastball. And this, she's got yeah, some oh, no, the, junk. Yeah, this is Lin's fastball. This is how we express Lin's right. fastball. Uh, Bonnie, the invisible wife just walked in. You got, you want to break it down for us? What happened, Bonnie? I don't know, but um, a drunk, a drunk mama Brushwood called. It was my, all like, wait, my mom? <laughs> yeah. Tell Brian <laughs> not to worry because I couldn't get audio. I just saw pictures, uh, pictures of fingers and holes of teddy <laughs> bears. But anyway, I don't know what Corey said, but it was nice to see Corey. <laughs> <laughs> My way of saying I love you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Brian, that might be a new holiday tradition. <laughs> Is that we get my mom to watch live? Yeah. Drunk mom. <laughs> your mom to watch. Uh, real quick, let's just give it one big thanks to, to, to George Rob. Is there anything in particular we can promote for you, man? Yeah, we're, we got this big concert in February we're doing here. If uh, geologicconcert.com is the website that you can get tickets for this. So big, we're doing a DVD taping, a live album. Uh, it's February 18th, 2012. So geologicconcert.com would be really great to push that, please. That'd be Dude, lovely. How is that going to be? It's here in Bethlehem, PA. If you want to come, man, we got seats for you guys. We'd love for you. We'd love to, to, to host you guys if you want to come and check out the I show. I didn't know It'd you be... were in the valley. I didn't know you were. I mean, that would have been perfect. Live from Bethlehem, singing oh, Christmas. Oh, yeah, songs. shoot. Yes, off. shoot. Are you yeah, kidding yeah, me? Here, and and so, actually, this is something we're gonna we're gonna have to add. Uh, we're gonna have to ask uh, Tony to make sure to put this in the final episode because we totally spaced on promoting our first NSFW live special, our New Year's Eve party that we're rocking. Oh my God! And you want to know what? Uh, I'm so glad that you that you mentioned that, Brian, because we have two free general admission tickets to give away. How are we gonna give them away? We're gonna give them away. But everybody at replying Tony Wang on Twitter, and he's going to arbitrarily pick two people. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, so, so first of all, explain what's going on for this New Year's Eve party, because this is the biggest live event that we have done in the history of NSFW. Like, during Night Attack, we speculate about what it's like to do some massive popular show and walk out as comedy legends. This is that. It's happening in Florida, in Orlando. You can come and, and hang out at the resort, and you can actually be part of the whole event. Explain how, Justin. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just uh, look up Brian and Justin NSFW Orlando New Year's Eve on Google. Just that simple. <laughs> Hold on, I'm actually looking actually, at Actually, you go to weirdthings.com. Right now on weirdthings.com, I have all the information up there right now. So just go to weirdthings.com. And uh, Orlando, man, out, out in Kissimmee, it's, it's right next to Disney. If uh, you're in anywhere in the Florida area, you better come on out and have oh, a great time with us. Join 25 bucks to get in, and the party don't stop. Uh, like those, like those girls getting it on in the living room until 6 in the morning. It works. <laughs> so, I put well, in exactly what you said, Justin. And I got TBOextra.com as my top search result. New Year's Bash 2012 with DJ Scratchy, hosted by Brian Brushwood and Justin R. Young. Yeah! There we go! Yeah, there it is! Hi, Ryan. That's exactly right. No, no, no. And I'll tell you, man, this thing's going to be huge. They've already sold uh, over 1,500 tickets to this thing. And they're only like, uh, like 28, 30 bucks or something like that. But you can get package deals where you can stay at the hotel. If you want, and here's the thing. Me and Justin are, are going to commit. First of all, I'm going to come out. I'm going I'm to do Justin and I. No, me and Justin. Wow. I don't remember being the grammar police when you were doing TNT and said me and that there tech news that I'm talking about. I don't remember saying that. Apparently, you find that unctuous sense of self-importance at the bottom of a Jaeger box. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's what that was. I thought, you know, I was like, tequila has a worm. What is it? It's an unctuous self of, uh, sense of self-righteousness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here's the important thing is no lie. We're going to show up. I'm going to do the Bizarre Magic Show. Then we are going to host the remainder of the evening. We're talking about you got DJ Scratchy, one of the nation's top DJ artists. You got yep. Remote Control, who are a dub... Uh, uh, amazing breakdance crew who oh, they're crazy the stuff. Forget that fart knocker on YouTube who everyone keeps forward to me 18 million times sitting around by himself in front of some stupid uh, bus stop porch. Forget that guy. No, no. You want to know what? That guy died yesterday. It was very sad and we all cried about it. But you want to know very what remote future. Right. This shows the future and by that I literally mean it hasn't happened yet. And it's going to happen in days to come. But but the important thing is like we're going to be there and we will meet every single fan of NSFW show in the Diamond Club comes out to this thing. It's going to go. No, this isn't months. meet. Like we're going to party personally yes. with every single person who comes out to this. This isn't going to be like we're going to walk by. Oh hi. You know, I'm going to go over. No. Everybody who's DC to the DIE, we are partying all gosh darn night long. And you want to know what? We're all going to be sleeping at the hotel. So we're, it's gonna be, we're going to move it to the after party. After the party is the after party. And after the party is the hotel lobby. And it's going to be amazing uh, on New Year's Eve. You cattle, can just go ahead and Google humper, that long chain of words. Cattle, that humper, cattle Humper just said, I just bought a drink pass. I guarantee to put Brian in a headlock by night's end. I Dude, totally I've met Cattle Humper. Him. That is a big drink of water. He is a badass M-O-F-O. -O. Uh, yeah, no. Um, Boys, I got to run. Have a great uh, oh, New Year's. Have a great Christmas, George, man. George, thank you so much, man. You were amazing. No sweat. Cheers. Thank Happy you. New Year. Thank you, George. You are the best person who ever lived. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Talk to you soon, guys. Thanks All so right. much. Hey, buddy. Bye, guys. Let, let, me, let me just say this. Uh, the fact that Get Set Go was set to come on and the fact that they all of a sudden couldn't make it, if I all of a sudden couldn't make it, uh, that doubles as Justin forgot to hard book them until today. Um, and then George came in last second. That's not a joke. Like, we tried to play that up, but that actually happened. George's like, tonsils are made of gold. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's it's a fact. It's a fact. True fact. Tonsils were made of gold. They were they were removed for profit motives, but they were filled with pure joy. And the the doctor put them back in because yeah. like I can't steal these. I can't steal gold tonsils of pure joy. This no, must be shared with the world. His silver vocal cords could keep me from stealing the silver and gold, silver and gold. Uh. So, so there we go, uh, folks. It's gonna be it's gonna be the, the coolest party in the planet. You want to party with me, Brian, Andrew, Maine, Blue Cheese, John Tilton, uh, Ashley, Healthy Attic, Paramore of YouTube fame? Because if you do, then then this is going to be the only place. Oh yeah, can we can we mention they're giving away a GD freaking car? A car! They're giving away a freaking car at this thing. It's gonna be epic. And you want to know what? It's a complimentary champagne toast. They're not going to be walking around going, hey, buddy, five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. Champagne. Oh, you want, you want to ring in 2012, the end of civilization? Give me five dollars. And you're like, no, yeah. no, I won't. They're like, okay, here's free champagne. <laughs> well, and everyone's like, everyone's like, like oh, first. It's a oh, it's a Kia. It's like, yeah, if you don't want the car, you can flip it for a couple thousand dollars and you're happy. And by flip it, we mean pretend that some Mexican ran into you and then collect the insurance money on it. Wow. This is, okay. Listen, I, 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 I think what you're trying to make clear to people here is that there is not, uh, nor has there ever been, a party like a Schwood jury party because there is no ceasing of a Schwood jury party. No. Well, I, specifically, what we're saying is, are you now or have you ever been a member of the Schwood jury New Year's Eve party? Yes. And the answer for me is yes. <laughs> I am current. Yes. And correct. I will be in the future. I'm unrepentant. Uh, and, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be, uh, just imagine if anyone's been to Dragon Con, like, and just... Imagine party. if anyone's been to Dragon Con. What if oh, that happened? If only that was true, man. If only that could actually happen. But you know what? It can't. It's a it's a delightful fantasy, which is why you got to go to the New Year's Eve 2012 <laughs> bash yeah. at the drop zone on December 21st, uh, 31st. From 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's how hard we're rocking this thing. Sure, we'd all like Chicago to be a real place, but it's not going to happen. Go to the drop zone instead. Also, win a free freaking car. Yeah. What's wrong with free cars? You hate free cars? Is that what's going on? Do you hate balloon drops with cash prizes? 
Yeah. What's wrong with you people? Do you hate DJ Scratchy or special guest remote control? Why so much hate? Do you hate? hate Brian Brushwood or Justin R. Young? Yeah. Stop the hate. Do you hate the fact that the, the Aubert part didn't get put in the flyer? <laughs> what? Uh, no, dude, come on. Everybody show up. It's going to be the best time ever. And, and I don't know how to this, but if you're in Florida, you're in Georgia, you know, just come on out. It's going to be a blast. And it's cheap. To stay in the hotel, two people, it's like 140 bucks. It's like super cheap. And then we'll all go to Disney together the next day. It'll be hilarious. 140 uh, bucks sounds like a lot if you're from the 20s. But these days, it's nothing. Scratch. Yes. Can I just say real quick that I'm Time I travelers. I'm sorry. This is not the deal for you. This is an exorbitant amount of money. Unless you're from the future, in which case you have even more money because it's worth even less. Then, yes, spend it all. Hey, real quick, um, I just got an email from Sam, Santa apologizing, saying that, that, that he wished it had gone better and that, that he was frustrated with his tech stuff. Uh, whoever you think Santa is, make sure to tweet him directly and say that it was the greatest thing in the entire world because it was. Santa was epic and awesome, and yeah. it was in every way hilarious and amazeballs. Yeah. If you yeah. think Representative Lamar Smith was Santa, tweet him. Yeah. No, sure. <laughs> if, if you think Ace Detect was able to do double duty and manage to play Santa and be here, or if you think it was actually Santa, then make sure to tweet at Martin Sargent. <laughs> say, Santa, <laughs> your face. You did great. Ah! Wow! I don't think it counts when Brian does it because he already has the belt. Yeah, I like how the belt is really just Brian like shaking it towards somebody. <laughs> and he says, you have the belt now, and then just kind of quietly takes it back for himself and says, no, nobody really does. The belt's My precious. <laughs> I have the belt. I totally have the belt. The belt is mine. Mine. Tell you what. If there's one thing that'll never happen, is more snow falling in Florida. <laughs> I do know that that will never, ever happen. Oh, Ed my. Q snow. <laughs>